What's up, y'all? It's your girl Chanel from Complex Simplicity, and welcome to another segment of Candid Talk with Chanel. That's right, Candid Talk with your girl. <laughs> it's been a while. I, you know, I only like to jump on and do these Candid Talks when I really got something controversial or and or thought provoking to talk about. And um, for one of my childhood friends, uh, childhood best friend's birthdays two weeks ago. Um, we were at, you know, a lounge where it was a comedy night. The last comedian to hit the stage, and to me, he was the best of the night, he ended his set talking about the single life and how people who he felt are single, he said there's something wrong with them. They're crazy, right? Now, this is not what I believe, so please stop right there. If you're like, ah, Chanel, what you talking about? It's not what I believe. Um, but I'm just saying what he said. So this particular comedian feels like people who are still single in their 30s and beyond, something ain't right with them, right? And um, it kind of got me to thinking, you know, for me, I feel like, and like I always say, I know amazing single people in their 30s and above who would make great husbands, wives, whatever, right? Great life partners. But I do feel like they're potentially still single for a reason. I'm not gonna say that they crazy or it's because something's wrong with them. I'm not about tearing people down or making any group of people who fit into a particular category feel badly or some kind of way about themselves. What I will say is, um, I believe when we're in our 30s approaching middle age dumb and beyond and we're still single, that perhaps there's still something we're still not ready for a reason to meet that person. God wouldn't have it for us to meet this person. Or for those who don't believe in God, if you want me to put it as fate, then fate wouldn't have you to meet this person until you're 100% ready. And sometimes it could be emotional growth, maturity, financial stability, independency. It could be a whole list of different reasons as to why um, you may find yourself single in your 30s and above, right? It could also be maybe a lack of self-awareness with certain things. Maybe your heart really didn't get over a past relationship. Um, so I agree with the comedian in the sense that there's a... I don't agree with him. Let me not say that. I feel that there's a reason why you we potentially are still single in life and that it is more of something internal that we have to figure out and work out. I don't always believe that it's just that's the, the pickings are slim you know I hear a lot of women talk and it's like there ain't no men out here the pickings are slim they're in jail um they're gay there's not enough men out here um you know and I don't believe that that's necessarily the case yes to some degree I get that point but I feel like sometimes when we haven't worked through certain things within ourselves or we haven't um you know had whatever growth that we should have in certain areas of our life just yet, maybe that's why that person who we're supposed to do life with hasn't really um, been introduced to us, so to speak, you know? And so please, I say this to say, don't lose hope out there, y'all. I always say this, don't lose hope. I wrote a song about it Call somebody, right? It's going to be your turn. However, as I always say, while you're waiting, figure what's going on in here and in, 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 in your life. You know, if there's certain things that you know, you still have to figure out before you could join forces with someone else because relation, relationships require a lot of work, nurturance, compromise, communication. Um, and so it, it, it calls for emotional maturity. Often I'm talking about having a high emotional IQ. That is needed in relationships and marriages, y'all. So that comedian just had me to thinking. So no, I don't think single people are crazy who are in their 30s and above. What I will say is I do think that you could potentially be still single for a reason. And the best thing that you can do is continue to work on you to be, you know, your best self, as if they, we always say these days, right? Let me know what you feel, though. What do you think? Do you agree with this comedian that if you're single in your 30s, something's wrong with you? You ain't right in the head? You know, there's a reason why nobody want to really do life with you? Or do you kind of agree with me more so in the sense of um, maybe there's still certain things within your life that you still need to work out before you're ready to meet that person, you know? Or do you just be like, F it all, I don't agree with none of this. <laughs> Let me know, comment under this vlog, let's talk about it. Let's have these real talks, these controversial talks. Let's have this candid talk with your girl Chanel. Continue to head to complexsimplicity.com. 
And until next time, I'm like so boobylicious today. I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs>